first of all, to the band, the participants and townspeople for taking the time to attend today, and to Dan, Pat, and other organizers for taking the time to put this event together for all these many years here. I thank you as a veteran, as a service member. Thank you very much. To many, Memorial Day is just a three-day weekend to relax, fire up the grill, and get some great deals. I can attest to the great deals. My wife had me out buying furniture and new flooring for the house. So we're taking advantage of all of the great things it has to offer. But it also marks the unofficial start of summer. You see that by all the boats, the recreational vehicles that are now out in the roads. So Watch out when you're driving. However, the true meaning of Memorial Day goes far beyond these. Memorial Day began as Decoration Day to honor the soldiers who died in the Civil War. Today, Memorial Day honors all who died in military service. Today, we are here to honor all those who died during or after service for us and our country. Those soldiers, sailors, airmen, Marines, and Coast Guardsmen who gave their lives for us in their combat, peacekeeping missions, training missions, and other operations who died for us in serving their country. Dan asked me today to reflect today on a family history of military service and to reflect as a soldier who has lost comrades. During the introduction, a fair amount was said about my family. I am serving, and we have four generations who have served our country, and we have been proud of that. The main thing is that in our family, we returned. Memorial Day, we're honoring those who have not returned. So I won't go on about the family so much, but I want to bring to us and our attention all those many service members and comrades who have lost their lives due to their service. And let us not forget those from September 11th, 2001, our global war on terrorism, and to the World Trade Center victims and the responders, the folks the people in Flight 93 who sacrificed themselves to save thousands, and then there was the impact of the Pentagon. This one has haunts me personally. On that day, Lieutenant General Tim Maud, a friend, mentor, and my boss, and others I knew lost their lives. It haunts me and my family because I was scheduled to be in that building, in that meeting, that same day. I would not be here today to speak to you all if General Maude had not asked me to go to another meeting as a senior advisor that he believed was vital to the welfare of soldiers and families. To shift gears, you've, many of you have seen on television the pictures and videos of soldiers placing flags in cemeteries. You've seen honors rendered to soldiers deceased soldiers who are deplaning coming back from a combat zone, honors given to them at funerals. But there are also two traditions the Army has to honor our fallen comrades that I wish to share with you today with the assistance of Sergeant Henry. First, units have a visible reminder of the deceased at their memorial ceremony that the public usually never see. A helmet, identification tags, a rifle, and boots. The helmet and identification tags signify that fallen soldier. The inverted rifle signals a time for prayer, a break in the action to pay tribute to our fallen comrades. And the combat boots represent the final march of the last battle.
That's at the memorial ceremony, that, and then that is usually separate from a funeral ceremony. Second, to remember the continued services of our fallen comrades at formal dining events, what the military calls dining ins and dining outs, a small table for one is set to honor our fallen comrades to symbolize they are with us in spirit. So we never forget the brave men and women who answered our nation's call. The table is round to show our everlasting concern for our fallen comrades. The tablecloth is white, symbolizing the purity of their motives in answering the call of duty. A single red rose is in a vase that reminds us of the life of the fallen and the loved ones and friends who kept the faith. The vase's red ribbon is a symbol of the determination to remember our fallen. A lemon slice on the table reminds us of the bitter fate of those who will never return. A pinch of salt symbolizes the tears endured by the families of those who have sacrificed. The glass is inverted as that soldier can no longer toast. The chair that's there at the table is empty as they are no longer with us. So never forget that while we enjoy the daily pleasures, others have endured agonies of pain, suffering, and death. As we depart today, enjoy the company of our family and friends. Please, please remember, never forget their sacrifices. Today, we walk to remember them, not us, to honor those who have fallen before us, their sacrifices and their families left behind. So in the interest of keeping it short so you can enjoy your day, your barbecues, I thank you for listening to an old soldier share a few of his memories and some traditions of military service to our country. Thank you.